you will need to be able to understand and use function machines. Here's an example. We have an input, we add seven, and we get an output. So for example, if we wanted to input five, you would add seven, and then you get an output of 12. This is function machines in their most basic form. We can also express equations as function machines. So for example, if we had y equals two x, if we think about what this does, it takes an input x and then times it by two and gives you an output y. So putting that in terms of a function machine results in something like this. So you can see it takes an input x, it times it by two, and then you get y. So the exact same result from this function machine as we got from that equation, just represented in a slightly different way. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done, both in a written format and a video solution format. So you can see here, the written solution is just a quick explanation of how to solve the problem. Or if you're still unsure, you can watch the video solution where an expert will talk you through it.